My name is Moses Mandela. I'm here to share my Zindua journey, just a little bit of it, um, because the Zindua journey is, is 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 quite vast. So I'll just share a little bit of uh, my 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 journey. Um, Moses is married to Grace. We are blessed to have two sons, a thirteen year old and a nine year old. So quite a bit of a journey there. So where do I begin um, my journey from? I think um, um, for, for me to join the, the Zindua journey, um, of course I was jolted by my loving wife. <laughs> I wasn't going to, I didn't even know what that is. Um, but one morning, one Saturday morning, you know, I was yanked out of bed and I was told to sit here. And so I sat there and I listened in. And this was, I think, the first or the second lesson. Uh, they had just done an introduction, so they were doing now the, the first lesson. And, uh, and and I walked through the journey. And, and the reason why it was significant for me is because um, Zindua, you know, became very intrusive, I, you know, in my life. In my, intrusive because it went into areas that I I probably never wanted anyone to go into. Um, in a very subtle way, as we did the study, and uh, it brought out aspects of my life that uh, I needed to deal with. Uh, you see, because you know, in the in the in the journey of life, there are facets, and I got to learn about the windows of life, uh, what what we need to do between. 19 and 20, between 20 and 30, between 30 and 40, and those those windows actually close. But the life I was living before I before I began to do Zendua was almost like um, without a plan. Uh, you know, big faith life. You know, the, the the one that you believe God God is there. God will do everything, and we will just enter into what we need to enter into. But but this brought me into intentional living. I think the best way I can. I can summarize it is, is intentional living. Intentional living because I, I had to deliberately go back into my past and begin to look at certain things that I had experienced and what that meant or what that how that affected my life. And just to zero in in terms of, for purposes of sharing my experience with Zindua, I'll zero in on, on the area of marriage. Uh, um, um, having, having grown up, as a person, as you know, in a single single parent family, uh, with an absentee dad, and um, and getting saved at an early age, just when I was getting into form one, the one thing that I quickly determined in my heart to do was to live a different life. I didn't want the kind of life that my dad had lived. I didn't want the kind of experience that my mother and my dad had in terms of their experience as a couple. And when, of course, he walked away, uh, how I saw my mother suffer. And one of the things that, uh, you, you know, my mother got us when we were very, you know, at a very, very early age, so that by the age of 44, she was, she was, she, she passed on. And, um, uh, you know, and at that time, I think I was 20. And so the rest of my life, I had to figure out uh, how do I maneuver this journey or this jungle. But I didn't realize that that the impact of my past had so much affected me to the extent that I was running away literally from that past. And in my running away from that past, I was literally, uh, uh, um, what is this race that we are very good at, um, steeplechase. I was actually jumping over hoops, jumping over, you know, things in life that I, I should stop and listen and, and stop. And, you know, I was literally running through life and I realized you can run so fast away, you can run away so fast from your past that you stop, you don't live in your present because of a future that you're chasing. So what Zindua did for me was to stop me in my tracks and open my life up to me so that I began to look at my life in the facets, in the, in the, in the windows. And when I look at my life in the windows, I began to realize that, uh, I had made so many mistakes in the journey of life. And one of the mistakes was that I wasn't living my present because I was chasing for a future 
that because I was running away from a past. And so I had to I had to deal with that and part of part of my life. I may not do say everything, but part of what I was running away from of course was the experience of my past how I was brought up. The second thing I was running away from or or or, or, or in my in my pursuit uh, for a better future. I realized that even getting born again early uh, 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 you, you know played an interesting role and sometimes you know one time you know we asked ourselves does it help to get born again early but i don't i don't know but that's a discussion for another day however um i i wanted to be so perfect to the extent that um uh, 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 uh when we got into trouble with my wife at the at an early age of our marriage at the early stages of our marriage ah <sighs> I think um, I, I, I lost myself practically. I literally lost myself. I lost myself to the extent that um, uh, the, the best summary I can, I, the best way I can summarize it is that I backslid. Ouch! I said it. I backslid. Yeah. So, um, but I came back. But in the study of Zindua. What that helped me to do is to come to terms with what that meant and how that affected me and how that affected the windows of my life and began and I began to deal with them, you know, window by window by window. So I, as we were doing it, I was in my 40s. I am in my 40s, early 40s. Now I'm in my mid 40s now. So in the 40s. So now I'm asking myself, I'm in my 40s. What I needed to do between 20 and 30 and 30 and 40, I have not adequately done it. And so I am caught in a place where, you know, I almost, I, I'm, I'm almost getting desperate. Uh, but, but, but of course, as we went through the lessons, as we went through that, I was able to see that I was able to see how to correct and how to amend. First, of, co of course, by accepting where I had gone off road. Uh, but with the help of those that were around us, because again, the other thing about the study is you, 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 you meet people who have different experiences and you almost like are a help group for one another. You hold each other, pray for one another, walk the journey together and, and urge each other on. So that, that, that helped me to, to, to resolve a number of things, come to terms with them. And one of the things I can tell you that it did for, for me is to reconcile that past put it to rest and begin to now work towards uh, what is a better future as we are doing this recording we are just one day one day shy of our 15th anniversary uh, so i think we are at a better place working towards becoming uh, what god who what god wants us to become but let me say this our marriage is part of our great purpose our marriage is, is is part of our great purpose in terms of what god has called us to do and that is to uh, as ministers of the word of God uh, and, and myself as a pastor and out of out of this study I saw that I, one of the things that I needed to do is to quickly to quickly enter into purpose because in that running away I've talked about I did many things I really shouldn't have and one of the questions that she has asked she has just asked me is what would you tell your 25 you you the 25 year old you and I just say to her I would I would I would start early Everything that I'm doing now, I in my mind, I think I should have been doing them in my 20s. And, and I would start early. I would start early. I would start early. Um, so we're in the journey of correcting some of the things that have gone wrong, but we are still on track. Um, 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 and we've, we've, what, what, we've flipped the coin on the other side, and I believe we are working on it. Um, I don't know what else I can say. Um, um, but to say that uh, we are still a work in progress and I think Zindua as a class ended but what it is doing in our lives still continues to live on uh, uh, as we as we look towards uh, those windows. Uh, the scary bit is sometimes when you when you know that a certain window would close um, and, and, and it may not be easy to open uh, but by the grace of God sometimes the windows come around and open up again and those are the times that you you actually see the grace and the mercy of God. And many times I usually say, 
if you look at me, if you want to know what the mercy of God looks like, uh, you can look at me um, because I'm a picture and, and actually um, the real representation of the mercy of God. Um, I think I'll end it there.